This was sitting in my pile for months before I unearthed it because I'm going to be moving. I paid a dollar at a rummage sale and it sold in less than a day for $855. Oh. Freaked me out. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best July bolo. And I invited everybody in the Facebook group to share their big money bolo. And this is my Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go and check it out. I will link it down below in my link tree and you guys can come on over and give it a follow. And let's start out with the first Big Money Bolo. Found this on the free table beside the road last fall and hadn't listed it until now. Finally got it listed in an auction starting at $99.99. Sold for $179 at the end of the auction. Buyer paid immediately. Could have gone for more if I had been able to test it, but I'm still so stoked about this price for something they were tossing. They had tried to sell it at the yard sale for $5 with no takers. I'll definitely be looking for these again. What is it? It is a vintage Polaroid Alpha One folding land camera case manual straps. So it's a camera. Sold it untested. That's awesome. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for the opportunity to share. I learned so much from your videos and the posts in this group. Here is my July bolo. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Pick this up at a local thrift store on a half price color. Paid $4 and sold for full asking price of $65 on Poshmark in about a week. I have been watching you say Farm Girl Scavenger Noel says to pick up the Tupperware and this sold fast with one missing the lid. Vintage Tupperware yellow Servalier 1970s nesting five piece can canister set four lids. Okay. Yes. I tell you guys all the time. Noelle is like, pick up the Tupperware. She always yells at me. I'm at the bins digging and she's like, you missed all the Tupperware. And I'm like, Eek. so anyway, somebody was listening and somebody just had a bolo. So definitely check it out. And you guys go check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, her YouTube channel, she has a video every Thursday. It's a live show. It's a let's talk about it. She picks a ga category and does a deep dive. And she has done a video on Tupperware. She has done a video on Tupperware. So definitely check it out. Grab this while volunteering with my full-time job for $1.50 at my local crisis center. Took about a month or so to sell for full asking price. Not as good as some other awesome finds, but I was excited. It is a Dundee Disney Baby Mickey Mouse Mini Pluto Crib Blanket Comforter. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Stellar Seller, Stan <laughs> Stellar Seller Sam. I always get tripped up on her name. And this is her YouTube channel. She's a Bolo Finder. She's a lot of fun. Go check out her YouTube channel. You'll be glad you did. These channels will be linked down in the description. If I say they're a Bolo Buddies member, that means they have joined the YouTube channel at level two or higher for perks. That basically means they get a pop-up and a link in the description. No pressure to join. It is for perks. Completely free to share a Bolo. This is just if you want the perks, all right? More information on that down below. Dollar. Paid a dollar. That's all I paid for this at a thrift store. To me is often overlooked. It's a high-end travel luggage brand. Buyer was all in at $87. And this is what it looks like. Corrupted Tarot Deck by Wim Word. Paid $20 at a local Goodwill. Listed for $112 and sold a best offer of $84. Buyer was all in for $102. This one comes from eBay store Edge City Traders, and this is what their um, eBay store and YouTube channel look like. And I recently featured them in a video with a bunch of their bolos. So, uh, Bolo Buddies member found by chance. This is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube. Check her out down below. And she's on Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy also under the same name. Found this dog plush at an estate sale for a brick and mortar store that was in business for decades, but closed up in the 90s. Lots of new old stock. Not sure if it was new, so I listed it as used. I paid about six, listed for $59.95 and sold with a 30% off coupon. Buyer was all in for 
and this is what it looks like. It's a vintage plush poodle Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness. It's a blue poodle. I would have listed that thing at over a hundred. It's a blue poodle. Come on. Everybody wants a blue poodle, right? Oh, I'm sure she did her homework. Anyway, found these magnets at a garage sale for $5. Listed them as a lot for $35 and sold for a best offer of $28 on Mercari. So they're anthropomorphic fruit magnets. How cool are those? Yes, magnets sell. And Mercari is a great platform. I love selling on Mercari. If you guys are not over there, definitely check it out. I do have a link down below. You can get uh, $10 to shop when you join and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff if you use my link down below. That is a referral link, so I get money to shop too. So I appreciate it when you guys use that. And one thing I always tell you is put your plush on Mercari. So if you've got a store full of stuff and you're going to cross post, do your plush first. Um, List Perfectly is what I use to cross post. There's a link down below that'll show you how it works. 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. If you check out that video and decide it's something that would be a good fit for you. Bought four of the vintage license tags from United States Naval Base in Guatemala Bay, Cuba. Paid $55 on high bid, local pickup auction, listed for $199 and took an offer of $149. Took about two weeks to, step, to sell and I still have three more. Okay, couple things here. I don't think you're allowed to sell anything that has to do with Cuba. Does anybody know? I know that's a big one that pops up in my Vero videos. And license plates, are there restrictions for license plates? Let me know down in the comments if anybody knows, but I know there's something about Cuba, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. But it says Cuba in the title, so I'm surprised that didn't get flagged on eBay because I know that they take down a lot of listings for Cuba. So many people have gotten Vero's, or not Vero's, policy violations for that. So be careful. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, Crazy Critters and Vintage Collectibles, and she is a Bolo Buddies member, and I will have her link down below. I was in Scottsdale, Arizona on vacation and we decided to stop into the Goodwill there and I found this, arm, uh, gosh, I always forget how to say it, G Gypsy Armani figurine, which I thought was so pretty, but it did have a chip on the feather of her headdress, so I questioned buying it. It was priced at 24 so I thought I would go ahead and take it and see what it would sell for. I am pleased at the $90 sale and happy I found it found a place on a shelf in someone's home instead of getting more damage at the Goodwill shelves. Yeah, this is definitely a Bolo brand for sure. And um, I have talked about it in other videos. So definitely a good pickup. And imagine what it would have sold for if it would have had uh, no chip. So I found this at the bins. It weighed about two pounds. So I paid around $5 for it. I listed it for $199 and took a best offer of $150 the next day. I like quick flips. Yeah, me too. Double D Ranch, ranch wear purse, brown crossbody bag, leather woven wool saddlebag. This is what it looks like. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. This is their YouTube channel and they're Nina's Jewels on eBay as well. Link down below. We sold this ba bald guy's moisturizing gel for bald men for our full asking price of $70. I'm like, am I reading that correctly? It was free to us, gifted to my husband a long time ago and he never used it. <laughs> That's so funny. This is a discontinued product and hard to find. Sells for a lot, but the right buyer has to come along. Took a few months worth the wait though. Uh, bald guys. There you have it. And you guys, Nina Jules did a video. It was a collaboration video and it was hashtag Ben's Bingo. Go watch it. Her and her husband did this video together. It is so good. It's like it's so good. You guys are going to love it because they're digging through the bins and they each have a video camera and just go watch it. Go watch it. Stellar Seller Stamps. Did it again. <laughs> I messed it up the last time I said it. Stellar Seller Sam. This is her YouTube channel. Check her out, you guys. She's awesome. $4 for these new Linux teacups, a beautiful pattern. Bought at the Goodwill. I had a hunch, so I grabbed them. Sold for full asking. I don't usually do breakables, but I'm glad I picked these up. Linux 
Um, Hannah Fine Bone China Teacups, set of four. Four is not too bad, but they've got the handles. Oh, I'm not a breakables person either. I get it. I bought this toaster at an estate sale for $3. While chatting with the ladies during checkout, I grabbed these sunglasses for a dollar to get my 29 overall bill to an even 30. What fines? By the way, the toaster sparked when I plugged it in, so sold it as not working. Yee. Um, so, I don't know if this is a good recommendation, but what I would do is probably cut the cord so somebody can't plug it in. I remember I plugged something in once and it like, and broke, like my circuit went out. It like freaked me out. So, um, yeah, I think I would cut the cord. Is that good advice? Anybody that does electronics, what would you do? If something sparked when you plugged it in, would you sell? I definitely wouldn't sell it. Um, I would cut the cord. <laughs> I don't know if that's good advice or bad advice. You guys let me know in the comments. And then the Maui Gym Baby Beach Polarized Titanium Sunglasses sold for 80. Nice, nice bolos. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. This is her YouTube channel. She is fantastic. Also, big money Bolo Finder. Go check out her What Sold videos. You will be impressed. I found this at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for full asking in a week. I didn't know Harmonicas could be a Bolo. Sold for $64.95 and it's a, a Harmonica. And this is what it looks like. My July Bolo was sourced in my ex-husband's game closet. Someone gave us three vintage wooden pastime puzzles years ago. I listed them all for auction starting at $49.99. One was missing two pieces and had a small bag of damaged pieces. It sold for starting bid. The second one that was missing one piece sold for $54. The last one was complete with only a few chips. It sold for $77. Vintage 401 piece pastime wooden puzzle complete in Colonial Days Parker Brother. Wooden puzzles. Yep, they can be a bolo for sure. Some can go for thousands. It's crazy. Uh, this one comes from Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. This is their YouTube channel. Check them out, Big Money Bolo Finders. Here's an example. I paid $25 at a yard sale and sold it for $221.50 plus shipping. It is a CTA 7675 P BMW timing chain toolkit with case. Yeah, if you see anything BMW... I mean, it's got to be a bolo, right? Wow, check that out. I paid $15 at a yard sale and it sold for $191.21 plus shipping. It is an Odyssey Ultimizer battery charger, 50 amp fast charger, another just tool thing. I'm guessing her husband picked these up. <laughs> but um, I asked her, I was like, who ships these big items? And I think she said her husband does. Pick her money flipper on eBay and YouTube. 191.21. And here's another one from them. Paid $20 for the four phones I listed, a set of two at a time. Both sets of two phones, $142.95 plus shipping. The total for both was $285.90. Also sold in 24 hours. RCA phones. This one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters. He is only on eBay, not YouTube. He said, I bought this at a yard sale for $5, sold it for a best offer of 120 plus shipping. It's a vintage Tiger 2XL talking robot with tapes, box, and documents. 1992 tested C video, and that's what it looks like. Here's another one from him. Bought all this together at a yard sale for $5. Sold within a couple weeks for full asking price of $399.99 plus shipping. What is it? Talesman revised fourth edition and plus four expansions. Hard to find. I don't even, I still don't know what it is. Is it a book? Is it a series? I, fourth edition. I don't know. Expansions. Anybody know what it is? Let me know in the comments. Bought this at a yard sale for 10 and sold in a week for full asking price of $199.99. Bolo finder, Ohio treasure hunters. Go and uh, uh, follow his eBay start. Follow his eBay store. Click on the heart. 
<laughs> you'll get notifications when he lists new items. And if he sends out a coupon, you'll get that coupon. It's a Nikon AF-S TC14E teleconverter lens complete in box. And this is what it looks like. I was out for a ride enjoying the summer weather and stopped at a yard sale on a whim. I'm glad I did. I spotted a, co a composition doll, baby doll. Those always catch my eye. And the lady running the yard sale came over and said she had more and gestured to a suitcase sitting in the sun full of dolls. After a quick look through, we settled on 20 for all the dolls, suitcase included. The Madam Alexander sissy doll was hiding in the suitcase under other dolls. With all her accessories, clothing, and jewelry, she's worth over $1,500. But even in this condition, with items missing, she sold for $428. That's awesome. Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. This book is a PSA to get through your money pile. This was sitting in my pile for months before I unearthed it because I'm going to be moving. I paid a dollar at a rummage sale and it sold in less than a day for $855. Oh, what? Antique Zion's Glad Songs, 1908, M.L. McPhail, Jehovah's Witness Watchtower Bible. Oh my goodness, $855. You guys go follow Childhood Finds for more bolos. This one comes from I'm a Resell It, and this is his YouTube channel. I bought this box of Mark's horses from a flea market for 10. Condition of them was pretty beat up. Mark's and missing limbs. So I put them up on auction and it went for 180 plus shipping. International sale to Germany. Even if items are in bad condition, if people want them, they want them. So still list them. And go check him out on YouTube. I do have him linked down below. Pulled from the Goodwill bins, probably paid $1.50 or so for these records. Had gotten an offer for $65 when it was up for auction starting at $100. Said, nah, Bollywood is so hot. Be on the lookout for vintage records from India. They go for big bucks. This buyer got a good deal for $125, but a big score for me. Sold at full asking price a few weeks after the auction ended with zero bids. And it's a Bollywood record lot. There you have it. This one comes from Bolo Buddies members, member Leo's Treasures, and this is her eBay store. I purchased a stack of vintage wall calendars at an estate sale for a dollar each. This 1989 Hallmark Betsy Clark wall calendar sold for a best offer of 40 and the buyer paid shipping. Yes, Betsy Clark. If you can find Betsy Clark, definitely, definitely pick it up. Um, a lot of times her um, card stock like Hallmark, I think Hallmark did Betsy Clark. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Mindful Recycle uh, sold a ton of vintage stationery, and I did a video on it. So definitely check out that video. And if you're not following Mindful Recycle, oh my goodness, you got to check her out. She is a huge money bolo finder. Here's another one from Leo's Treasures. I purchased this vintage 1988 Fisher Price McDonald's Big Mac burger and fries at an estate sale. It was in a large bag along with other plastic foods, so the cost was probably 30 cents total. It sold while the store was on 12% off sale for a total of $48.18. It's a Fisher Price 1988 vintage Big Mac with fries. <sighs> you gotta love it. It's a toy. This one also comes from Leo's Treasures. Oh, big money. Yes. Good job. Um, I purchased this at a garage sale. This pin was in a Ziploc bag along with other Harry Potter pens. I purchased the entire bag for $2. So the cost of my, of this small one inch Harry Potter Dolores Umbridge pin is about 25 cents. Wow. It sold while my store was on sale for 12% off for $171 and 60 cents and the buyer paid shipping. <gasps> That is awesome. Wow. Congratulations. Bought this from Bolo Buddies on Whatnot for $7.48. I thought it was unique and no one was bidding on it. Figured it was at least worth $30. Soon found out these necklaces are a Bolo. Um, depending on the shell, they can go for much more than what I sold mine for. I sold mine for a best offer of $82.00. The buyer was all in for $93.70 with shipping. After fees and cost of goods, I made $63.82. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I started at 
started the item at $5 and she was the only person that bid on it. So that was with her shipping costs and uh, taxes, $7.48 all in and sold it for $82. And awesome. Awesome. And that came from my whatnot. So you guys come follow me on whatnot. Um, I have sold some stuff and if you check out this video, there's some more people that bought some things from me that sold them for big money. So check that out as well. And there are others, um, big money bolos that have been purchased on whatnot and sold on other platforms in this video. So check it out if you want to see that. Whatnot is a great place to source, even if you don't want to come watch me, but I don't know why you wouldn't. It's so fun. Come hang out in the chat. Even if you don't want to buy anything, come hang out in the chat. I would love to see you guys. My referral link is down below. If you join Whatnot with that link, you're going to get $15 to shop and you're going to get to come hang out. So I would love to see you at one of the shows. I will link some down below. You can bookmark them. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And leave me an emoji of a heart. Thanks for watching.